Wolves at Mavs. Junior Brown back in the NBA shot clock on this Friday, May 24th with another free pick. And we're rocking with the under 207 in game two of this Wolves Mavs series. A, a series that I think Dallas wins in six or the Wolves win in seven. We'll see how that plays out. But I think after game one, it's a little bit too close to call. Gun to my head. I would take the Mavs plus five because I think that most of these games are going to play out that way. Uh, not to say that I believe the Mavs win again, but if they lose, I do still think they keep it close. In game one, a uh, couple of things that, that I, I noticed, which has me on the under, the regression from three for the Wolves. They made 18 threes. Uh, in game one, they're not going to make 18 threes again in game two. I know this because they took 49 threes in game one and 42s. That is a recipe for disaster if you're Minnesota. And I'm sure people are thinking, well, if they made 18 threes, why is that a problem? It's a problem because they're not attacking the rim. They're, that is when they're at their best. When they attack the basket and they force help, they either get a basket, they get free throws, or they get an offensive rebound. That's the formula to their success. Their half-court offense is not good. It's been in the bottom half of the league the entire season for a reason. So, I expect them to go back to what they do best. And I expect D Dallas to keep playing this elite defense that I've been talking about at nauseum for almost two and a half, three months now. Dallas's defense is for real. And just pay attention to when Ant has the ball, especially if he's not in the middle third of the court. If he's on one of the uh, thirds of the court near the sideline, whoever's on the weak side is just not even going to guard their man. They're just packing the paint and daring him to shoot. You see Jaden McDaniels when he makes six of nine threes. I promise you they want Jaden McDaniels to take nine threes because he's not going to continue to make them at a high rate. So... Dallas' defense is going to continue to do what they're doing. I don't need to explain why Minnesota's defense is going to do well because that's the formula for their success. I think the first game was a little bit misleading in terms of that total. And I think game two is going to be even tighter than game one considering the home team lost. Give me the under 207. Let's catch another ticket, y'all.